Welcome to another TPO flight a month here, or half month, or whatever they're going to be. Well, we're going to tie a Byatt body rusty spinner. So, before we get started, I'm going to use UTC 70 in dark brown. I'm going to use micro fibbits for the tail. I'm going to match them up to about the hook bend. There we go. I'm going to tie them in. I'm going to tie them in way up where I'm going to tie the wing in, just so that I can have a nicely tapered underbody here. Wrap into the back of the hook now. I'm going to take my thread. And I'm going to split the tails with the thread. So I'm going to lift the tails up. I'm going to try to get about half of them. Okay. Now I'm going to pull back and then down. And if you look, the tails are split, except for one stubborn one, but we'll put that one into place. So there you go. See? Split the tails. Now I'm going to come back up here. Gonna cut the thread. We'll cut the fibbits. Now, gonna take the bayet here. Okay, I'm gonna wrap this back to the rear of the hook. Gonna come back. Okay, gonna cut it. Now, I'm going to use the rotary feature of the vise here to wrap the uh, quill up the hook. So, okay, now I'm going to wrap it further up than what I have to. Just so that I can double back. And there, if you look, I have very nice segmentation to the body of the fly here. Now, for the wing, I'm just going to use a piece of grizzly hackle. Right there. I'm going to select one that's the appropriate size. This is a size 12. This one should be perfect. Yep. So now I'm going to strip all the bad stuff out okay now I'm gonna take this now I'm gonna leave a little bit of room so that I can wrap it once so that I don't have any hackles sticking out the back okay now I'm gonna take a little bit of Rusty dubbing. So that it's a Renee Harrop dubbing here for the dry flies. Okay. Just gonna spit it on the thread. Gonna create my thorax. Okay, now, I'm going to take my hackle, and I'm going to wrap it right through that dubbing there. Okay, now, this one's being tough, so I'm going to cut it. Make sure when those Hendrickson spinners drop that you have at least a dozen of these, because they're going to get hammered. Now, if you want, you could put an egg sack in the back of this. So, here we go. So, if you look here, I'm going to take my scissors, and... I'm going to run them right through the middle, over the top, and I'm just going to snip. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to go to the bottom, and I'm just going to go boink two times. Okay, and now, if you look, I have that flat profile of a mayfly spinner's wings. 
The wings are very translucent. There's two that got to go. There we go. And I have perfectly split tails. And this one will get eaten. So have at it, guys. And I know you're tying some dry flies, so you should have some of these.